In today's video, we are taking a trip on Pekopé Intercity on board one of the long-distance Eurocity trains connecting beautiful Krakow with the German capital Berlin. It's a lovely ride in great comfort on board one of their first-class carriages as we traverse Poland and sample the onboard features, which includes food from one of Europe's best dining cars. So join me on this trip as I show you the entire travel experience on board Eurocity train number 56. Our journey starts from the centrally located Krakow main station, which is co-located with a large shopping center and conveniently connected to the rest of the city by tram and bus connections. Right, let's go and catch our train. The shopping center that now acts as the main gateway to the railway station was opened in 2006, but the actual railway station here has routes all the way back to 1847. With the station essentially just being a massive mall, all the shops and food outlets you could ever expect are available here. To access the trains you have to head a level down to the underpass, but this is also very well signposted. Down here you will find even more stores, such as the supermarket. But heading a bit further down the corridor, we enter the actual station part. Our train is due to depart fairly soon, so it's about time we check out the departure board to find out what track it's leaving from. Looks like we are going from platform number one today, on the 956 to Berlin Hauptbahnhof. There is also a ticket office at the station, but I would recommend buying online in advance as prices vary on this train based on demand and time of booking. Right, let's go and catch our train. To access the platform, just head up the escalators. Or if you prefer to use a lift, it's also available a bit further inside the station. One thing to note when traveling by train here in Poland is that they use both platform and track numbers. In our case today, there is only one train on the platform, so it's easy to figure out where to go, but make sure to confirm with the screens on the platform, as multiple trains can leave from the same platform number. That's right, that's our train to Berlin today. Let's go and have a look at the engine. We will be hauled all the way to Berlin by one of Pekopé's EU44 locomotives. Part of the Siemens Eurosprinter family, these trains are capable of speeds of up to 200 km per hour. Right, let's head to Berlin. The first class is located towards the front of the train and only consists of one carriage, named 272. My ticket came with a free seat reservation, so I picked one of the solo airline style seats from the seat map at the time of booking. And here we are, home for the next many hours up to Berlin. And it's only a few moments later, our train is ready for departure and we start rolling out of the station. We quickly leave the station behind and start making our way out of the city. And now that I'm talking about the route anyway, let's take a look at the rest of it for this trip. We are on board Eurocity train 56, which started its journey this morning in Semisl and then made its way to Krakow with a few intermediate stops. Here we join the train and head towards Berlin in a northwesterly direction as far as Respin, where we turn east for the final stretch to Berlin Hauptbahnhof. The journey from Krakow to Berlin is scheduled to take 7 hours and 9 minutes to cover 614 km, which gives the train an average speed of 86 km per hour. After Krakow, we pick up the speed quickly and make our way towards Katowice. 
Katowice is another major railway station here in Poland, with services to and from the Czech Republic branching off here. Our stop here is brief and we are shortly on the move again. And I think it's about time I show you the seats. Up above there's a reading light. You will find a tray table as well in front of you. It's really really sturdy, especially for a flip down one. There's a movable footrest, as well as a power outlet. And you can recline the seat. The seats themselves are very comfortable. So, definitely good enough for a journey up to Berlin. One thing I really like about being on a locomotive haul train is that you have the ability to both go up to the front and view the engine do its job. Or enjoy the views from the back of the train. And that is really one great thing about train travel, especially on longer journeys, is the ability to get up, stretch your legs, go for a little walk without it having a time penalty. And I often get to do that when I have to do the mandatory toilet review. And in this case we are both missing toilet paper, and towel paper, and the flush wasn't working. This is really bad, especially considering how long of a train journey this is, so pick a pace, step up your game. But unlike the toilets, the rest of the train is in much better condition. You can see here up in first class it's a nice bright open carriage with modern information displays laid out in the expected 2 plus 1 layout in a mix of base as well as airline style seating. Next up is the dining car. The train was really really busy today as you can see with many people standing in the aisle. We'll get some food from the dining car a bit later in the video, but the ones here in Poland are truly excellent with meals prepared fresh on board and a great selection of food, snacks and beverages on offer. Continuing further down the train we get to second class, which comes in a mix of compartment coaches for six people, as well as airline style seating in a 2 plus 2 layout. Throughout the train you will also find luggage racks and whatever this is. Anyway, back to my seat. We have just left Legnisa station that's currently undergoing a restoration program and I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel a bit hungry. You saw how busy the train was, so I decided to try out the MWARS app and have the food delivered to my seat. Simply select the train you're on board and pick whatever dish you want. I think we'll go for the pork chop. Just head into the basket then and place your order. And roughly 15 minutes later, one of the staff members showed up with a takeaway box filled with delicious food. In my experience, the Polish dining cars offer some of the best meals on board in Europe and they come at very reasonable prices as well. This was 49 Polish schlotti or about 11 euros. And after this meal, there's not much left to do other than kick back in your seat, relax and enjoy the rest of the journey. We're making good progress towards the German-Polish border. The border is crossed now as we make our way across the river Oder. And welcome to Germany! From here it's just a little over an hour to Berlin Hauptbahnhof. There should be no border controls on this train as we are traveling within the Schengen region, but if they do happen, it's on board the train here at Frankfurt an der Oder station. Luckily for us today, there were no checks, so we are quickly on the move again towards our penultimate stop at Berlin Ostbahnhof. And here we are at Berlin Ostbahnhof. 
And if your hotel or accommodation is located in the eastern part of the city, it might be tempting to get off the train here, but I would recommend staying on board the train for the final part to Berlin Hauptbahnhof along the Stadtbahn. As our train leaves Berlin Ostbahnhof, we will run right through the heart of the city on an elevated viaduct, offering great views of some of Berlin's famous landmarks. And at 12 minutes past 5, just 7 minutes behind schedule, we approach Berlin Hauptbahnhof on the impressive glass-covered upper platforms. And to wrap things up, let's talk about tickets. Tickets can easily be bought online on the PKP website or Deutsche Bahn website. I paid 79 euros for a ticket in first class, booked roughly one and a half weeks in advance, which I consider to be good value considering the short notice. Tickets are considerably cheaper if booked well in advance, so book ahead if you can. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I try to upload a new one every Sunday. You can also follow me over on Twitter at InterCitySimon, where I post live from my travels, so it's a great place to get a sneak peek at what videos might be coming on the channel in the future. Thanks for watching!